I am Dr. Amit Shah. I am a neurologist. I have uh, done my neurology from Jaslok Hospital. Before that, I did my specialization in medicine in KEM Hospital. Uh, and uh, UG is also from uh, KEM Hospital. And uh, I have trained uh, in neurology, epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, peripheral neuropathy, and various other specialties at Jaslok Hospital under uh, Dr. Noshir Wadia, Dr. Katrak, Dr. Mohit Bhatt, who is in charge now in uh, Ambani Hospital. So, and uh, then I started my practice here first in Andheri and Goregaon and subsequently it extended till Mira Road and uh, here till Santa Cruz. I am here attached to Criticare Hospital, Sujay Hospital. I, Arogya Nidhi, I was attached, now I have left because of so much other co commitments. And BACS, MG Hospital, Apollo Polyclinic at Goregaon, I have a main clinic and Purohit Medical Center, Borivali. My OPD timings in Sujay and Criticare are usually available in the afternoon. And uh, Criticare, I come Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday by 12 o'clock. And Sujay Hospital, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2.30. And uh, my main special, uh, uh, special interest, you can say, in headache, stroke, epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, and peripheral neuropathy. Now, without taking much of your time, I will uh, start my talk of the day, which is on neurological examination. Before going to neurological examination, I would like to introduce the central nervous system, what it is and how the functions, uh, neurological functions happen and how you have to pick up all those findings. So coming to it, the nervous system with its central and peripheral division maintains and controls all body functions by its voluntary and autonomic responses. Evolution of motor, sensory, autonomic, cognitive and behavioral elements makes neurological assessment one of the most complex portion of the physical examination. That is why we all say in MD exams also there is a neurological case as a big case, as a long case. In uh, medicine also while doing a MBBS exam also they give keep a neurological case because there is lot more to discuss. In cardiac maybe 5 diseases but in neurology there are 5000 and many more are coming. Anatomy and Physiology, CNS, Brain and Spinal Cord. I have kept it very simple and sweet so that you all can understand. Main network of coordination and control is central nervous system which is brain and spinal cord. PNS that is peripheral nervous system, motor and sensory nerves. It includes this motor and sensory nerves. Ganglia outside the central nervous system carries information to and from the central nervous system and autonomic nervous system which regulates the internal environment of the body. Peripheral nervous system, spinal cord, dorsal root, motor and sensory neuron, stretch receptor and deep tendon reflexes. Coming to autonomic nervous system, it has two divisions, sympathetic division and which helps the body into action during times of physiological and psychological stress. If there is no sympathetic system, then we will collapse. If there is no parasympathetic system, so there is lot of things. It is not only central nervous system, it also includes peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system. So in autonomic nervous system, parasympathetic divisions conserves body resources and maintains digestion and elimination. Yes? Sweating is what sympathetic division? It is sympathetic division, sweating. Okay. So, it conserves, parasympathetic division conserves body resources and maintains digestions and elimination. Covering of the brain. Now, coming to anatomy part of it, up till now we saw physiological, subdural space, pia matter, arachnoid matter, dura matter, epidural space, skull, muscle and skin. Blood supply and venous drainage. The brain receives its blood supply from two internal carotid artery and a basilar artery. This is the vertebral artery which goes inside and becomes this basilar artery which is posterior circulation. This is how it is situated in the brain so that you can understand. This is internal carotid and this is middle cerebral artery, this is anterior cerebral artery and this forms a circle of Willis. And here it is cerebellum which is situated, here it is temporal lobe, here it is frontal lobe. So whenever we say it is anterior cerebral infarct, it is usually a frontal lobe 
MCA, it is a parietal and the temporal lobe and whenever there is a PCA, in fact, is either it is a basilar or two vertebrals which are coming from here behind. That is a posterior circulation. It supplies the occipital lobe which is situated here and the cerebellum which is situated in this fossa. Okay? Now coming to venous drainage, blood drainage from the brain through the venous sinuses and this venous sinuses empties into internal jugular vein. So what you see here blue is the venous sinuses, transverse venous sinus, sigmoid venous sinus and then it goes into the internal jugular vein. Coming to blood supply of the brain, it is again anterior cerebral, middle cerebral artery, internal carotid artery, posterior circulation and that is PCA that is posterior cerebellar artery which is this cerebellar artery which supplies the cerebellum, basilar artery and vertebral artery. These are the two vertebral. What forms the circle of villus is PCA, MCA, ACA and the base is formed by the basilar artery. Cerebrum, it has two hemispheres which main functions are these, higher mental functions, general movement, visceral function, it perceives behavioral integration of these functions, all these functions integrated by cerebrum, two hemispheres. These are the two hemispheres. Now you see this is the anterior part, so it's supplied by ACA which is frontal. This is parietal lobe and inside it is a temporal lobe. This is the temporal lobe. This is the occipital lobe and this is the cerebellum. This cerebellum is situated in that fossa which I showed it to you and this what you see is a brain stem. Okay? So, lobes of the brain, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital lobe, limbic system, cerebellum and the brain stem. So, every limbic system, limbic system means controlling, uh, see there is uh, between the uh, brain stem and the cerebellum, it is a limbic system. When you open this, cut it. There is a hypothalamus and thalamus, okay? that is called as a limbic system. Cerebrum, frontal lobe, what are the functions of all the lobes which we have seen? Frontal lobe, I am just explaining it to you in a bigger manner, it is just a big view of it. Why? Because if I take it in detail, it will, you know, it will only one lobe will take one day. Voluntary skeletal movements, mainly controlled by the frontal lobe. Fine repetitive motor movements are controlled by the frontal lobe. Parietal lobe, tactile sensation like temperature, pressure, pain, size, shape, texture and two point discrimination, it is all governed by the parietal lobe. Visual, gustatory, olfactory and auditory sensations are also governed by the parietal lobe. Occipital lobe contains primary vision center, that is the main thing, mainly a vision center is in the occipital lobe. Whereas perception and interpretation of the sounds are in temporal lobe. Interpretation of taste, smell and balance is in the temporal lobe. So main if you see it is vision by occipital, temporal perception and interpretation, whereas parietal lobe, tactile sensation and other gustatory, olfactory, auditory, all the sensation, parietal lobe. And frontal lobe is skeletal movements and fine repetitive movements.